Hey, what's good, guys? Hope you're doing well out there. Much love. It's your friend Malachi. So today, uh, the Lord put it on my heart to deliver a message about modesty. It's not a it's not a message people usually want to hear, but it's it can be necessary, right? So what the Lord was showing me, He showed me in a dream. He was telling me that uh, pretty much you don't want to cause your brother or sister to stumble, right, through a lustful eyes, because you know when we're under the law of the spirit, not the old Mosaic law, even looking at someone with lust is adultery, even looking at them with lust. So it's a, it's a slippery slope, right? It's not always easy. So you really want to uh, cast those seeds down. You want to prevent yourself from looking at someone you might be attracted to. You don't want to start staring at them. You, you want to destroy those seeds from the enemy even before they're planted, right? Because if they plant, they grow. Lust leads to sin. Sin leads to death. So we don't want to go that route, right? And uh, of course, repent daily because even one bad thought, you know, is unrighteousness out of holiness. So the Lord showed me to repent daily. You know, it's the Lord's prayer basically, right? But um, so what caused the brother or sister to stumble? This goes for both men and women. We shouldn't be wearing clothes that, you know, accentuate, accent our uh, curves, right? Some have more than others. But even like uh, yoga pants, even tight shirts, tight pants, showing cleavage, it's a no-go. And, you know, trust me, I'm the last one <laughs> that uh, is trying to have a religious spirit, right? It is the Pharisee type that's in, you know, that kind of condemnation. It's not condemnation, it's conviction of the Holy Spirit, right? So take it to the Lord, pray about it. But if you have clothes that are showing your, your body, your curvature or showing cleavage that's not of the Lord. The Lord, He wants us to dress modestly, as the Bible says. I, I'll post the verse down below. Um, and also with makeup, too. If makeup causes you to be a different person, it's like you're putting on a mask, then it's probably not wise to wear makeup if it's creating another person, another ego. It's basically another identity, which is could be idolatry. You want to be careful with the makeup as well. I'm not saying you can't wear makeup, but be careful with that. Be prayed up as long as it's not causing yourself to stumble by having a new identity. You know what I mean? So I'm not saying that don't wear makeup, but uh, it can cause people to stumble even on themselves. So always take it to the Lord. Don't trust man. Trust the Word. Trust the Lord. Be led by His Spirit. Let's try to be more modest. You know, the Bible says without holiness, no one will see God. So holiness is, you know, it's, it's a requirement, right? Holiness and uh, obedience to the Lord, and the, the Lord wants us to dress modestly. So get rid of the tight clothes if you got them. The Lord will provide. He'll, he'll come through. There's some pretty nice stuff that's, you know, that's not just so worldly and so tight hugging our bodies, right? Save that for your husband or wife, you know what I mean, at the right time in the undefiled bedroom, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, that's it, just a quick short one. I hope you guys are blessed out there. Wealth transfer is in effect. The wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous. I think we'll have uh, some extra, extra money to get some goods for others. A lot of clothes, even houses, self-sustainable communities. Um, to advance the kingdom of God, right? Not making money an idol, but using it as a tool. The Lord wants to bless us richly without worry. So uh, there's going to be some big moves. The Lord's doing some mighty moves. Get excited. Fear not. As the, Lord, as the world grows darker, the brighter the Lord is going to shine through His children, His remnant. Just be led by His Spirit, be obedient, and stay in that joy, because that's our strength, right? Don't let the enemy steal our joy. He's sending a lot of counterfeits, a lot of people to try to mess up your peace. Don't let them steal your peace and joy, because that's our strength. The enemy knows it. Wait on the Lord, seek the Lord. We should be just fine, no matter what's going on outside, right? So that's all I got for today, guys. I love you very much. Take care. God bless in the name of Jesus.